Today's show, we're talking about this Comica dual mic pack. This allows two people to have a microphone, like me. And me. There you go. And uh, there's a lot of really neat features about it. One of the things that I really like is that I can actually go in here and switch off his mic from here. Shut me up. Show me light, show me better days. I keep on spending, I need to fucking save. My mind is on, it's on another wave. Thinking all these thoughts and they possess my head for days. It's funny how they never change. True art is probably getting rich from counting all this little change. Grow until I get a range, rise until I light a wave. The Comica is a dual microphone single receiver pack. You can see the receiver's got two antennas on it, and we each are on a microphone. There is the receiver, and here is one of the transmitters. That's the one off of my belt on here. So you've got a couple of buttons and switches on here. Not a whole lot. It's a pretty simple interface. Input on the top for your microphone. Obviously the antenna and a belt clip on the back on there. And to control it, you have a power slash mute button, a direction button, and then a set. And when I hit the set button, it's going to light it up on there, and you can see the commands that I've got. So the first thing I can do is I can choose between a mic input level or a line input level, which is kind of neat if you want to plug in, say, an iPhone or an iPod sure. and broadcast music through one of the channels. That's Fun. an option you can do. So mm -hmm. that would be the, the line level use on there. And then you have on there a low cut filter, off, low, or high. And the RF power, that's the broadcast power. You notice it's set to low right now. What I've found with these mics is if they're in close proximity like we are here, right. you got to have them on low. Otherwise, they're gonna, you're going to get some weird statics, weird interference. But you're not going to get as much range. So when we do our range test, you know, make sure I don't remind forget. Remind us, yeah. Um, i got to set that to high, and then we'll make sure that we get a proper yeah, range. You remind me, I'll remind him. Sounds like a good plan. But you're not going to be looking at the chat. Oh, oh that's well, going to be weird. Eh, we'll figure it out. And then this is a really nice setting. So muting enabled. Muting is currently enabled, which means I can push this button on the top to mute, and you can see it went red, and you don't hear me as well because you're only hearing me through... Sean's mic when that mute is off. Um, but you can disable that. So if I don't want the talent to be able to do that, I can go in here, long press on the set button until it highlights and now it's able to be changed. And I can disable that. So now the talent can't accidentally mute themselves. I think this is super powerful. It's a really good feature because I know on mic packs like the Sennheiser, yep. you got this nice switch on the top, uh, but if your talent knocks it, and if yeah. they do it accidentally, they're on stage and you're like, I'm done. Or if somebody goes to the restroom and they kindly mute, which is always nice when people do that, but then they forget to unmute when they come back and then we're carrying on with our process and then we go, oh my God, we lost half the audio right. when you left us. Yeah, so, so you, you often want to take that control away from the tower. Right, and I noticed that this is kind of, you know, easy to depress and so someone could yeah, knock it, it and not realize that they're muted. Right, so. it, it is a little bit on the easier side to press. Not as easy, however, and this is one of my complaints on here, is this switch on the side. So you have this A, B switch and what that allows you to do is make this transmitter an A transmitter or B channel transmitter. It's a little too easy to hit and if I accidentally hit this, um, I, I'm, now, I'm now offline. I mean, you're hearing oh, wait, through his wait, mic, but you're good. I was, <laughs> but, <laughs> I was acting like I was offline. You're no, I'm still online. Yeah. Um, but now, now I've put it back to A and, and eventually it's going to, there we go, now it's synced up and, and away we go. So that is one complaint on that. So I think if you're going to use it in a critical situation, you might want to tape that over and make super, super sure that you Good don't uh, you know, make any mistakes in there. And then let's take a look at the receiver side. One nice thing on the receiver, actually, super nice, let's do a close up on here. Notice that it has... Upside down. It is upside down. Well, I can do that if that makes you happier. That does. It has an output, and that's what we're plugged into now. And it has a headphone monitoring port. And you might think, okay, well, why do you need that? You just plug the headphones into your camera. Except not all cameras that have mic inputs have headphone jacks, right. which is one of those kind of differentiators between a more consumer grade and a more professional grade camera, whether it has a headphone jack on it or not. Yeah. Yeah. And this is great because that bypasses that need. So you can use this with a lower end camera yeah. and still be able to monitor your audio. I remember my Canon 7D, I had a uh, attenuator cable that was like 75 bucks and able to, you know, and that was that was my workaround back then, but this is nice yeah. that you can, it's so important to monitor. When I don't monitor, that's when I- <laughs> Right, no, absolutely. Other controls that we have in here, power button on the top, of course. Um, so you can see now group A and group B are both on there and you can see the audio level meters and the battery power, which I really like. So up here, I'm seeing the battery power for the receiver and then here I see battery indicators for A and B. And to be able to monitor that, so as the camera operator, you go, ooh, mic B is getting a little bit low, you know that you're gonna have to swap them out when you have, uh, when you have a moment. Now on this pack, just like with the transmitter where you have an A-B switch, here you also have a switch, but this is an A switch, a B switch, or an A plus B. And so that's where I was earlier, where when I switched this um, up to A, that's only me now, and so Sean is now off, and you can see that the B channel has gone red on there, so I know that he is offline. Um, switch this back to A-B, 
put it in the middle there, and they're both going to be on. Just like the other switch, it's maybe a little bit easy to bump, but for most cases, this is going to be mounted on your camera, so it's not really, yeah. not really yeah. an issue. Other settings you have in here, so it tells you what channel it's on. So we got channel 93 and channel 19 on there. Those are basically just presets, frequency presets, but this will actually do a channel scan. Let's just quickly run through these options in here. Output mode stereo. Now, this is really, really neat, and this is one of the things that makes this type of a pack so useful. Currently, it's outputting stereo, which means that I'm on one channel, he's on the other. It's going to put, I believe, I'm on left and he's on the right channel. Which and I'm always I, right. I, I, you, you used the joke too early. We're going to do oh, this. Oh, right. that's right. Uh, uh, so, you had to get the joke in there. Yeah, I got it. It's the only joke I wrote. <laughs> we need new writers, that's for <laughs> yeah, sure. We do. You're not hearing us in stereo now because this is connected to the XLR input, which is being muxed into a mono signal for this broadcast. However, we are going to do two other demos with this where you will see us in stereo and then hear us in stereo. I know seeing us in stereo sounds really weird. I cannot um, wait for but that. I don't. Um, but you'll you'll experience that. So we will, we do have that capability. But if that's not what you want, if you don't want them on separate channels, you can go in here and switch this over from stereo to mono. So the case for that would be, let's say that I'm doing a live broadcast. I don't want the live broadcast like this one right now. You wouldn't want to be hearing me at a one channel, him on the other. That would be weird for the live show. However, if you're recording the show, then you really do want to have them on separate channels because that would allow you to mix those levels independently. And so what will happen is your camera will record one mic on the left channel, one mic on the right channel, and then that'll allow you to do that mixing in post. Uh, but again, while watching live, you'd have in one ear and the other. That would be weird. Be so you have the option, which is really great. Now, here's where this menu gets a little bit kind of funky. So it says setting group A. And as I go through the next few options, it says group A setting for volume, group A setting for the auto scan, so I can scan frequencies, group A setting for sync. And you, then you keep going, you go, wait, what happened to B settings? So what you have to do is you have to go back to the setting for group A, hold this down and go, okay, change that to group B. And now I have group B options in here. If I want to change A, I have to go here, change this to A, and now go through. So it's a little bit clunky and weird, but you know, it works. Here you've got your individual volume control, so each mic is controlled on its volume levels from the receiver. The transmitters do not have a volume control. So the only volume control you have on the transmitter is mic position and then telling people to speak up. I actually like that because yeah. messing around with the Sennheiser where you've got uh, output DB and you've got, you know, incoming DB and trying to match that. And we've had that challenge. We have had that challenge. Uh, so having it in one place. And I also like the fact that it's increments of one, two, three, four, instead of minus three DB, another minus three DB on it's the It's kind of a just Sennheiser. a simpler yeah, language exactly. to understand. Yeah. yeah, this is kind of weird. If you're not an audio professional and you see something that's broadcasting at minus six DB, you're like, what, what, wait, what? Minus? That doesn't, what? That yeah. makes sense. So yeah. I'll, I'll give you that. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, and then, as already said, you can scan for the frequency, scan for available frequencies, and then they will automatically sync by pointing with each other and pushing the sync button. This does come with a nice little case. Lovely, lovely case. Let's open that up there. Yeah. Oh. You've got this case, and part of what's in there is the clip to turn this thing from a belt-mounted clip onto a camera-mounted clip. Well, that's clip. probably super hard to get on there, though, right? <laughs> It's like a leading question. So I wouldn't, normally I wouldn't demo something like this, except it's actually really, really good. So if you have ever worked with the Sennheiser pack before, you know that when you attach this thing, getting it back off again requires like tools, gloves, and band-aids. Yeah. It is not an easy thing. But what, this is, I'm actually super impressed at this. I'm just gonna slide this guy under here. So you know, a little wiggle in and oops, get it in place there. There we go. Oops. Snap. Snap. There it is. Now it's snapped into place. So now, like you would expect on any kind of on-camera mic, you've got a cold shoe adapter on there. Just plug that in, lock it down, and away you go. But now to get it off, watch this. Just push and slide out, and that's it. It's actually really easy. I know. Like, seriously. God. Sennheiser, if you're watching, take note, because this is easy. Yeah, Yours it should be. kind of sucks. I think our next step is to connect this thing to the iPhone. Now. If you watched the video that I did last week, and if you haven't, we'll link to it at the end. Um, this is a new cable from a company called Ceremonic that allows you to connect basically any microphone to your smartphone. This is the Lightning version. There's a USB-C version as well. And in that video, I talked about how one of the features slash problems, because it can be a problem depending on your mic setup, is that this is stereo. Most cables like this are dual mono. This is actually stereo. And on most microphone packs, it makes no difference. On a Sennheiser, it can actually be a challenge. Again, watch that video to understand why. But in this case, it's actually an advantage. So what I'm gonna do now is connect this mic cable into this mic pack and plug it into my iPhone, which means I have to pull this offline. We're 
looking at Filmic Pro on my iPhone. I'm going to go into the options here under audio, and there it is. It's set to the LC35, so that's good. There's me on the left channel. And there's me on the right channel. So you can I'm always right. I, <laughs> you can cut the other one. <laughs> All right. You're going to hear on. that joke at least one more time today. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm pretty I got sure that. Maybe twice. So in this case, in the iPhone, you would have that dual channel recording, which is great for recording, not so good for going live for a situation like this. But if that's your setup, then that would actually be very, very handy. The final thing we're going to do is an actual range test. And for that, we're going to use the Lumix S1. It's hooked up to my wireless pack on there. And I'm going to just take your standard camera cable that also comes with this and plug it into there. And you should be hearing us now, left and right channels separately. Let's go. We're going to set up in the street out here. Go, go, go my boy. Here. There we go. And uh, yeah, this is a beautiful white van. I wouldn't mind having one of those for something. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about at this point. Uh, Can you I, I still wish, hear me now, yeah, sir? Yeah, we're good. Thumbs up. Okay. We are, yeah, we're getting the thumbs Very up. Very cool. There. Excellent. This, so is, uh, this is impressive. I, it is impressive. Almost as impressive as this beautiful Cadillac right here. Okay, now we're starting to drop away. out. Okay, yep, now he's starting to drop How out. How about now? Can you hear me? All right, he's giving me the wave that I am too far away. There we go. Okay, so he's coming back. I think that's actually pretty good. Well, there you go. Was I talking over you the whole time? Um, yeah, pretty much, but that's okay, because okay. it was about you, not about me. Nice, finally. <laughs> <Work yet>. finally. <laughs> but that seemed to work out pretty well. You got all the way down to that. We're going to have to measure the distance. I thought we'd just take, take the drone works? and just like... See how far the drone is away from us. Well, I was going to give you my ruler and ask you to go out there and flip it over 400 <laughs> times, <laughs> yeah. one foot at a time. <laughs> what do you think that range was down to that? Uh, oh, that's probably what a good 100 feet. It had to be more than 200 feet. feet. I don't know. I can't gauge that stuff. Okay. Isn't there an app you can just like? Probably. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. So that was far. We don't know how far, but we'll we'll put that it's gonna be right here. But that's going to be in the edited version. Right, so exactly. I'm going to do that, and yeah. edit, it'll show. Gotcha. That's okay. Perfect. Wow. Um, hey, that was kind of cool. That was fun. Thanks for helping out. Absolutely. Uh, for, did you bring me anything to drink today? Uh, not yet, but wow. I will. I haven't had a chance to make it over the bubbly. I Well, I'm going to bring you something special. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking about the Burnside whiskey, but there's actually something else I want to get you yeah. that uh, is going to be pretty phenomenal. Oh, well. You want to know what it is? We no, tell no, no, no. Keep it okay, a surprise. surprise. All right. Bring it on the show. We'll open it here. I like that. At 9 a.m. Maybe yeah. we'll do an evening show. That would probably be a I mean, it's, better it's plan. noon somewhere. Yeah, that's, <laughs> there's, there's always that. <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. We're going to jump into the Q&A right now. If you're watching live, stick around. If you're not watching live, it's going to appear right here. I'll momentarily. Show. 